Y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Gat Cognac, back with another video. This time around, I did a road trip out to Phoenix, Arizona. Hung around out there for a few days and then went ham on GameStop game hunting. So, enjoy the ride. Enjoy the journey. See what I pick up because I hit up a lot of freaking GameStops. So, first of all, I hit up to this first one that we drove into. This is like right when we got into Phoenix. And this is the first GameStop that came up. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool, man. The place was pretty clean. Most of the places out there, man, they have everything like nice on display. No gutted games and all that bullshit. So the first game I found was Zone of the Enders. Uh, I got that. I got that already when I was with the Moody, but... The homie Easy Gamer was like, hey man, if you find this game, uh, look for it for me. So, like, I helped him cop it. So, next up, uh, they told me to check out Fallout Games. Everyone's like, if you want to look for, like, retro shit, that's the place. So, price was alright. It wasn't, like, too expensive, but at the same time, it's, like, under eBay prices. So, the place is pretty cool, man. They have a couple stores out there. Pretty popular store. Um, they had a bunch of kiosks and stuff like that. So, check it out. So, they got an Xbox kiosk. Man, that's so clean. They don't got no CRT for it, but they had a lot of kiosks. They said the other stores had it too, but I didn't get to go to the other store. But check it out. GameCube. They got a Game Boy one. They got Sega Saturn. Check out all the strategy guys right here. Easy Gamer lose the shit. Have you seen that? So, decent game selection. Uh, prices were decent definitely below eBay prices so let y'all just check it out store is pretty sick man had a lot of their displays up there like their uh, big boxes and console boxes stuff like that uh, a lot of like signs they had here's a Super Nintendo kiosk from back in the days check out the Trinitron man this is old school right here man if you guys didn't know, man, the CRTs is still the best way to play old school games. Here's kind of their Grail uh, display case. So, there's a couple things I wanted to get, but I just held back. Uh, I ended up looking for, like, my main thing was, like, VR games. So, this trip was, like, to hunt down most of the VR games I can't find at my GameStops. So, I picked up a few things, man. Just stay tuned and check it out. I had to showcase this right here. Resident Evil 4 right here, man. The chainsaw controller. Just because Resident Evil 4 just came out, man. This is this is a good drawback to back in the days. I believe this is the PS2 controller. But yeah, sick. So I ended up picking up Gollum. Uh, they had it for like 20 bucks. This is sealed. Um, this one has a puncture in it, but whatever. Uh, online, you know, it's like 20 bucks plus shipping and tax. So if I could get this for like a little cheaper than eBay, I'm happy about it. I've been looking at this game for a while. Next, I went to another GameStop that was close by. Ended up picking up a couple of games. So, Dragon Ball The Breakers, they had it for $10. So, I picked that up. It was like a little sale they had. And then, uh, the next game was The Silver Case. So, sealed, I'm just, you know, Asian owned. But anyways, The Silver Case, I've been looking for that for a minute as well. The game is like never available on the website, so for me to finally pick this up, I was pretty happy about that. Yeah, Silver Gaze. This is, I think it's like a visual novel detective game. So, pretty good condition. Good to have, man. Anyways, went to the Ghetto GameStop next. This is one of the more ghetto stores, but uh, they had some good shit. So, Silent Hill HD Collection. They had that for like 25 but I had like a $25 like voucher because like I had hella points that I need to use before expiration. So I needed that in the collection, man. So that thing, I think I got like all the Silent Hill games after this. So here it is. Bam. Yeah, got the manual and all up in there, man. I mean, you can't beat that, man. I wouldn't pay for it for 25 but like, like I said, I had enough, uh, points anyways there's a game you don't really see around this is like a 50 or 60 dollar game it's called infinite space that's for 20 um that's when i asked them for the og games and stuff like that so it's like a little shoot 'em up game 
Now, I went to one in the mall, man, and they had uh, Shin Megami Tensei Apocalypse up in this one for like 30 is it 32 or 37 dollars but i had to get it man this is like a 75 dollar game so complete in box dude i've been looking for this for a long ass time so yeah man that was great look at that it's got the uh the reversible cover man it's one of the best looking reversible covers i've seen man sick so there's only a few like Shin Megami games I need in my collection for the DS's. So I'm trying to look for all those. But man, they're expensive. So happy to have that. Got some boba tea afterwards called from Zing Fu Tang. They're supposed to like hand make their uh, boba there. So that was pretty cool. Then we got some gin barbecue. The barbecue is pretty good. Uh, it wasn't too bad. It was just a little expensive. But uh, yeah, that was for dinner. That was the first night over there. Not too bad, man. Didn't expect them to have actually a pretty good big Asian community out there. So that was in Mesa. Next morning, we went to uh, Asadero. Um, it's like a little cool Mexican place. They make it where you like you make your own tacos. They just give you the meat and stuff on the side. And it's kind of like heating up on the freaking uh, on the little platter right there. So, yeah, that's it's like a three meat uh platter so it's got the carnitas right there that's the grilled chicken uh and then we also got like the the lengua but i didn't show that anyways went to the next GameStop. this GameStop was pretty cool uh i got like hella games right here some of these games i really wanted and i'm surprised they had it like earth defense force 2025 that's like the final game i need in that collection because i got the other ones on 360 as well this one doesn't got a manual, but that's all right, man. Ten dollars, dude. Can't beat that. Anyways, then we got uh, Sarriento or Sar Sarrento. I've been looking at that for a minute too. This game is probably like thirty dollars online, but uh, finally I found it on, at GameStop, so I'm happy about that. It's supposed to be like a ninja game. I couldn't pass this up. It's a five dollar game, Arcania. This is like a like a port or a remaster over to PS4. I think this like came from the PC and all that. So five dollar games, man. Can't beat that. It's kind of like a like a wannabe MMO RPG. So not bad. Nordic games, man. Some of these THQ games, man. Like sometimes they they get hard to find. Anyways. Um, Fire Emblem Warriors, that's it for $20, but, um, there was a little method to my madness. I picked that up just in case, and then if I didn't want it, I would have returned it, because $20 is still high. But in the future, like, later on, um, that's when they did the two for buy two, get one free sale, so I'm happy that I was able to return a lot of stuff. So, I'll probably talk about that in the next video. Next one to this mall. This mall, I don't think I got anything from this mall. Look at this. Just, I just found it hella funny because it was like boarded up with plywood. But they had this Lego freaking um, little structure right here. They built like a little, like, you know, Arizona's known for its cactuses and stuff like that. So they made like cactus, rattlesnake, butterflies. Uh, we went to another ghetto game stop, but. Most of these ga ghetto game stops, man, out there is way better than Las Vegas, man. So I got one game I'm looking for for a minute as well. Home Sweet Home for the VR. So you're going to see a lot of VR games I pick up. Some of these horror titles, man, they're hard to find. This is still kind of cheap right now. Um, I think they had it for $13.99 on the website. So they actually um, helped me adjust that from $24 to $13.99. And then next up we got Ane Chanbar Chaos. So, this you don't really see around at all. I don't think the series is a good game, but, you know, it's like a fan service game. So, I got that shit. You know me and my anime games. So, yeah, man, look at that. Look at that gravure right there. And then, like, one of the best CDs ever, according to Hyphy Go. Check it out. Got the hole right in the middle with her doing the spread eagle. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> it's funny, though. Let's check it out. Yep. So, I played these like on the PS2 and when it came out for the Xbox. They're not really good games, honestly. But, you know, it's got a certain following, kind of like how Dynasty Warriors has its following. 
and I like Dynasty Warriors. So, uh, here's a game I already have on regular edition. So, Dragon's Crown Pro, they had that, what, $24.99? Uh, Steelbook, though. So, I had to get that. That way, I could, like, return the regular copy I got and keep this one. So, not bad, man. Anytime you get a Steelbook, that's always solid. But, this is one of the better Steelbooks I've seen. Like, it's got kind of snug. But, like, look at that. The Steelbook actually, like, has the art popping out of it and stuff. Pretty sick, man. Dragon's Crown. So this is one of the best ways to play Dragon Crown, Crown because like the PS3 version has this like what um, lagginess to it. So this is pretty much like Asian owned right here, man. Hella clean. So next up, went to another GameStop. Like I said, I've just been hitting up all the GameStops out there. That GameStop didn't have shit. It was getting kind of hot, so went and got some drink at this craft juice bar. Uh, I think it was like an apple, ginger, or something like that. Went to another mall. Uh, this GameStop, I'm not sure. Did they get anything over here? I don't think. Most of these are malls, man. You can't find shit. So we went to the next one. So you gotta go to the ghetto freaking GameStops, man. So these like random ones spread around like it's, it's like in a random part of town. You find good stuff. So this one I found Angry Birds 2. Another VR game on the checklist. Um, what, 15 bucks? Bought that shit, man. I don't see none of these games in my area, man. So, Invisible Hours, I've been looking there for that too. $10. On the website, this game is always sold out. So, happy to pick it up there, man. I mean, Arizona's just been real good to me. So, I got that shit. Um, I don't know what the Invisible Hours is about, but... I know it's like a mystery game. There's a lot of these mystery games, VR games on there. So, can't tell you much about it. The homeboy Free Game Casey probably know more about that. And then Astro Bot's another game I've been looking for because like every time I get this online on GameStop, it doesn't come with a case. So, I found it over there. Was it for $10? At that price, man, can't beat that. Cause this came with the VR man so usually you only get this when you got the bundle so they don't really like sell this like loose anyways went to another GameStop there's so many GameStops out there it's not even funny there's like 40 GameStops this one actually displayed the games like the Wii U 3DS stuff but nothing to my interest and I'm getting rigs I think there's like what $7.99 um, another one of these like uh, VR games but this one's more about like mechs and stuff like that Maybe similar to like Armored Core. So, basically, I get to some of these games, man. Next up, another game stop went to pretty close by, but they closed, man. Look, it says they got an emergency. They had to close down. <laughs> I was like, damn, that probably could have had some good games up in there, too. So, I went to the next one. Most of these game stops are like three, four miles away from each other. I don't know how they do that, but here's one of the games I've been looking for as well, just like every other one, right? Uh, this is Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners. I just got the Onslaught one, you know, a couple months back. So this will complete my Walking Dead VR collection. And we have another one starting to get a little darker now. But this place had a hell of a lot of like, you know, like those limited edition consoles and stuff like that. So I had this sitting there. I know they marked this uh, Printy Presents Volume 2 for $39.99. Sealed too? I mean, shoot. Arizona had a lot of these games, just like limited collector stuff, non-gutted. It's like sealed sit in the case. So I'm like, that's how you should do it, man. I hate it when they open that shit up. So I'm happy to have that. Next up, here's a game I got. Uh, it's Tokyo Xanadu. And um, I had gotten this, and then it ended up being like no, no case. So I'm buying this so I could return my no case one. This one even comes with like the bootleg manual, man. I don't really see this game much around, so I just feel like uh, this game is going to be kind of rare in the future. As do most uh, anime games and stuff like that. But I don't really see this in my area. Maybe you guys see this a lot. But I'd say pick this up if you get a chance. So, pretty cool. Tokyo Xanadu EX Plus. Yeah, man. Anyways, went to Half Price Books. I always see like Half Price Books has like games and stuff. But this particular one says they don't have 
games something about like i don't know they didn't have the license for it i don't know whatever but uh they have strategy guides so we went to the mall um like i said i didn't ever really have much hope for the malls but i go anyways because the malls they don't really see a lot of foot traffic for like people going in to trade shit in so we went to the next up starting to get dark already had to do a bathroom stop so we really went to the mall for that um, over here, I found a couple games that I wanted that was on clearance. So I know this game is like 30% off. Uh, I got this for the Xbox already, but I wanted a PS5 copy. So in Sound Mine, cool horror title to have. And then Subnautica Below Zero, uh, I got the one, you know, the newer one. So like I've been looking to get this one to play first. So they had that for 10. So after that, I was getting late. Uh, we found this hot pot place around in Mesa. So Mesa is kind of like like an Asian area, man. Like hell, Asian folks be out there. So we had that. Anyways, now it's the Parasite Eve, the third birthday. Uh, we went to this Pandaria place. It's got some freaking you know like Mexican pastries stuff like that. You know, got my sweet tooth. Always gotta satisfy that. So did that, man. I mean, it was okay. It was pretty good. Basically like a little snack before we went for lunch. So, but after that, yeah, for lunch we went to get dim sum. They said it's a great wall place, pretty cool, man. Yeah, I already know, like I'm Asian, so I, I usually go eat Asian shit, man. But um, went up in there, got some dim sum. Place is all right, wasn't too bad for Arizona, you know what I mean? So, uh, great wall cuisine. There's a bunch of people up in there. I'd say it was all right, man. It was like four out of five, so maybe 3.8 out of five. But like I said, I didn't expect much for Arizona, so I'm happy to get what I get out there. Anyways, went to uh, Mahalo Maid. This is like a um, like a Hawaiian shave ice place. So that place is pretty cool, man. Uh, they make like everything fresh. They get like Arizona, whatever, best of. Pretty cool spot, man. Uh, we got like the blackberry uh, with the, like condensed milk and super fluffy, man. The freaking uh, shave ice. So after that, we left uh, Phoenix and we headed towards Flagstaff. So it's still like snow up in the mountains and stuff like that up in there. So it was pretty interesting. But it was a nice drive up. It's like what a two-hour drive. Once the game, there's only like two game stops out there. So that game I went to, we got uh, Tokyo Twilight Ghost Hunters. So I've been looking for that game as well. I mean, I got it for the Vita, so it's kind of a port. I didn't really need it, but I was just like, ah, $12.99. It's about the same price as eBay, but I figured I'd just get something while I'm up there. That's what I do a lot, man. Like, if I'm on vacation, like, I just got to buy something, man. You know, I don't want to come home empty-handed. So I got that, $12.99. Then went to the mall, which I was not expecting much. But uh, this GameStop over here, man, was pretty interesting. So I'll show you in a minute. But I had to show you guys Barnes and Nobles, man. They have hella people that still read out there in Arizona. <laughs> so I found VR Carts, man. VR Carts, another game I don't see much. Fairly cheap game. I think this game's like, what, $12.99 or maybe even $10. So, VR games for the collection, you already know. I've been collecting for VR, like, avidly lately. And then, uh, I got found Borderlands 3 Ultimate Edition, man. $37.99. Uh, if you guys didn't know, this game is kind of rare. Like, this game goes for, like, $150 pre-owned. Very limited copies, so I kind of told the homeboys, like, look for that shit. You don't see it much. Next, I was told to go to come to uh, Bookman's. Bookman's, they say they have some cool ass games over there, and you know what? To my surprise, they have some decent stuff, man. Uh, this stuff in Flagstaff. So, some stuff is like up there in price, but some stuff is decent. It just depends. So, they have some of their like, uh, like kind of grails or portable games up in there. Pretty cool. No More Heroes Limited Run stuff. And then, this is a Japanese copy of Rule of Rose Siren, so it's not worth that much. But it's cool seeing some of this stuff, man. Um, not as much selection, but they had decent stuff. They said, like, PS1 games. 
PS2, they had a lot of like uh, Japanese stuff over there. They have like pop stuff, uh, board games, and then of course, Bookman's, right? It's called that for a reason. They have a crap ton of books. So, hella board games though. I didn't really get anything for myself. I got a lot of board games at home already. So, it's back to the game selection. I started like looking at stuff like uh, the PS3 stuff. Whatever I don't see common for a good deal, I got. So, PS4 had a really nice collect uh, like selection. So, in the front they had like interesting stuff like trinkets and stuff. So, here's the stuff I picked up. I saw this over there for twenty dollars, and one of my subscribers was saying like Salt and Sanctuary, man, it's like hell expensive, and he got it for like cheap back in the days. So I guess they they slept on this one. Uh, they didn't really know what it was, but this game is like what a ninety dollar piece now. So I was happy to get that for twenty, man, hell a good deal. So you know this is one of those games that came out like you just don't freaking see. Uh, I think it came out, who, who made this? Um, I know it's one of those like limited print type of uh, companies that made this. That's why you get the manual out of it and stuff. Which is pretty cool, man. I love it when they do manuals and for, for the games, man. Because we don't get that anymore, man. So, had that. Comes with a map, too. So, I'm not even sure what they paid the guy to like trade this in. Probably like $5, man. Comes with a mini map. But yeah, for this being a grail piece and they didn't know, like even when I went to check out, they're like, oh, I've never seen this game before. I was like, yeah, man, that's why I bought it. I've never seen it before. So VR stuff, this was seven bucks. Uh, this is supposed to be the price of it, but I needed these demo discs. Cause there's like three of them. I think I got what, two out of three right now. So I think I need the third disc. I was happy to get that. And this game is a pretty expensive game. It's like $50, man. They had it for $30. So I snatched that up real quick. A uh, very uncommon game. This is called Ark Park. So I'm guessing it's part of the Ark series, but uh, you play that VR. So next up, uh, we drove all the way to Kingman or Kingston or King Kingman. So Kingman, they had uh, Ace Combat over there. I feel like I got I paid up for this one. But I just want to get some more VR stuff. So what I had this for like $17.99. So after that, that was pretty much it. Uh, we're driving back, as you can see, back to the Boulder City, Hoover Dam. Headed back home. So it's pretty interesting, man. Got a lot of decent games out there. Had a nice trip. Uh, weather was great. As I came back, it was supposed to be like 90 degrees, but Hope you guys enjoyed that video. This is your boy Gat Cognac signing out. Till the next one. See y'all later.